to hell with the nice guys on business. I want to hear the nice gals on business. Mar, Anna, where are you? Well, then I started uh, stalking you on Twitter a little bit. You know, had to check you out. Because you kept saying, dude, hit me up on Twitter. Message me on Twitter. Come on, come on, guys. Hello, anybody right. there? And I'm like, all right, let's see if this guy is legit. And I'm like, well, I'll tweet out to you because it's always my test. And then, of course, Strickland, I didn't expect to get any yep. response. But I tried to tag him anyway. I am and then- <laughs> very glad that we have um, appropriate expectations. And you were consistent then, with that your is response. still the case. None. Okay, good. Yeah. Dear Mr. Vernon, we accept the fact that we had to sacrifice a whole Saturday in detention for whatever it is we did wrong, but we think you're crazy to make us write an essay telling you who we think we are. You see, you see us as you want to see us, in the simplest terms, in the most convenient definitions, but what we found out is that each one of us is the nice guys on business. Need an education on how to grow your business? The nice guys are here to help. Learn about great customer service, networking, and how just being nice can help you prosper. Now, here are your hosts, Doug Sandler and Strickland Bonner. Okay, so we're going to start our show. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, as you may have heard from our intro, which guys, I'm going to play. I'm going to play the intro that we use for the show today because you guys didn't hear it because I, I put it in later in post. Here is how the show started from our Funkin' fan, Jared. To hell with the nice guys on business. I want to hear the nice gals on business. Mar, <laughs> Anna, where are you? <laughs> the people have spoken. <laughs> the people have spoken. And Anna home, and Mar ladies. are Welcome here home. today. Where are you? Thank you. Great to where, be back. Where, where the hell have you been? I guess I would ask that question. Where have you been, Mar, Anna? Where have you been? Well, I have had my nose in a book. I'm back at school, so I've been cutting squares and learning about negative space and things like that. <laughs> I saw I saw a bunch of your Instagram posts, and I couldn't figure out why were you posting like grids. <laughs> I couldn't. I didn't. I, exactly. I don't exactly. Yeah. No. So in the first year, <laughs> um, it's a bunch of fundamentals that you're learning. Uh, so we initially we only had uh, projects in black and white, and that was just painful. <laughs> Um, but now we're working with colors and things like that. So um, the program set up to kind of, I guess, weed out the people who really aren't interested in the first year and then the interesting. So in other words, what you're saying is they try to bore you to death in your first couple of years. And, and then if you last, if you if you outlast exactly. that, then they throw much, exciting yeah. things in like color. <laughs> is that what happens? Gosh. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. And actually, at the end of the first year, you're evaluated and then they decide whether you're allowed to enter oh the program. Gosh. Or not. So it's what's this? What show. school, Anna? Where are you? Arizona State University. Is that an online university, or is that, or is that one that they actually is, go to? No, it's where Park oh. Howell, Park Howell teaches. Yeah. Their have you run into story. our buddy Park yet? So it's in have Tempe. You run into him? Um, no, I think we're in d- totally different colleges, so that's very unlikely. I think Arizona State's like one of the biggest universities uh, in the country, right. so probably not going to bump, gonna bump into him. him. And, and how about you, Mar? Where you been? <laughs> the, I've been watching you, Doug, the entire time. I've been Holy watching shit, you. Shit, she scares me. When Mars, Mar, when Mars yeah, says anything, it scares me I'm sometimes just... because she says so few words that every word that she says, I take with such, you know, a huge weight. <laughs> Doug, you haven't? Have you not been putting tape <laughs> no, over your no, camera I... in your computer? She's I watching watch a little you green light with my light. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what... <laughs> <laughs> I've hacked wow. your computer. I'm that's, there with that's you. Very, very frightening to, to think of that. Oh, very... yeah. <laughs> I have to keep you focused. <laughs> so, by the way, my name is Strickland Bonner. On the other side of the microphone, Mr. Doug Sandler, and joining us today are our nice gals, the support team, all part of the team of the nice guys on Welcome, business. Welcome, ladies. Anna Welcome and... back. Welcome back. <laughs> Oh, this is such an exciting day to have you here. This Thank really you. is so in direct uh direct response to to Jared's request for more Mar and more Anna. We uh we have you here. So oh, oh there mm-hmm. And we're going to have Mara's are we going to have him here all week or are they going to do intros um, with us too? Using her angry pink pen and writing down see, Listen <laughs> listen wait everybody just be quiet. Listen listen to Mar just writing. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why? Mar. It sounds amazing. Mar, just take sounds it easy, important. girl. Take it easy. Everything okay over there? Are you all right? Are you writing with a Sharpie? Yeah, everything's good. It sounds good. like you... Oh, look at that. I am. Focus, guys. Focus. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> You see, we don't even need the drop now because we actually have oh, Mar here. That gosh. was my focus drop. You guys are awesome. This is awesome. It's awesome having you here. It, it feels like it feels like home. It feels like our team is is growing. So you you want to just share like what you've been up to? So Anna, what what responsibilities have we given you since you since you've uh, you know you've you've crossed over from <laughs> Mar is writing down. <laughs> oh, totally. Mar, maybe so, you should move your you pen away what? from the microphone a little bit. <laughs> Love Anna, it, what have you? It adds a certain dramatic <laughs> okay. effect to my story, though. Oh, that's true. Shh. That's Captain... true. All right. Oh wow, she's so, just like um, writing, ch- changing pages, and everything. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> so totally, a year and a half ago, I started off. I think you guys were three days a week, and it was just notes that I was doing for each episode. Um, I think you guys kicked it up to five episodes Dope. a week, uh, probably. <laughs> Like three or four months in, and then um, uh, my title changed. I think <laughs> when I started, I love saying that. Yeah. <laughs> um, what did you go from? What did you I, go from to? Right, I was a production assistant initially, and I was uh, put into the show producer position. Ooh. Uh, I know, very fancy. That's big. Um, uh, when I started doing social media posting for the Nice Guys on Business on all platforms and kind of uh, emailing back and forth between clientele to let them know um, the status of their episodes. So, uh, Anna, how has your life changed since you've been a part of the Nice Guys you program? You know, I can't go anywhere. I have to wear sunglasses and a hat. People come at me asking for autographs. It's just, it's overbearing. I'm, it's really, it's it's tough, you know, living has, in a big uh, city. When actually, has, has anything changed at all? Nothing, right? No, I'm I'm more of a uh, closet celebrity, you know. I think my my sister. I talked to my sister Dorothy um, about this quite a bit, and I'm like, yeah, you know, we hit the milestone over a million downloads. You kind of bragging and such, and she's like, Anna, I don't think I understand like how yeah. big of a deal this is. And I'm like, I'm telling you, bro, I'm famous. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you <know? laughs> what? Can I tell you what I love about Anna is that when, when we first started, Anna, were we doing one or two episodes um, a week when you started doing those? I think it was, I think three, it was three, I think she said. I thought it was Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So we were doing three when you started? Maybe it just seemed really? like three it was a, a week lot. You know you us guys. We're always bragging about how much more we have than normal. Because my <laughs> – right. Right. So true. It's so true. Because my recollection was okay, we were doing okay. maybe we were doing two at the time. And you were like, sure, I'll do show notes. And like we came back to you and we're like, hey Anna, I, we're gonna start doing and, and by the way, no. Funkin' fans, she was not being paid yeah. for this. Okay. This was totally volunteer work. She's doing notes two days a week for us. I was like, hey Anna, we're gonna start doing three days a week. Is that okay? Sure, no problem. <laughs> hey Anna, we're gonna start doing five days a week. Is that okay? I'm sure. She's still not getting paid. It was always just like yeah, sure, no problem. Yeah. No problem. And life is not cha- life is not changed. She may have a couple of dollars in her pocket as a result now, but um, still, you know, she's not living quite the rock star life. Not until we really kick it up to the next level, which will be nine days a week. <laughs> once, <laughs> once we get there, Anna, you are you are on easy street. Let me just say that. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> Middle of the week, we're gonna have morning. We're, we're, we're gonna have drive time. Episodes. We're gonna be drive oh time God. next morning. <laughs> that would be. I that honestly would be love that. That'd be fun. Oh my gosh! We, you know, what would happen if we got actually on a radio station where they actually picked us up and we're like, "Hey, we want to syndicate the nice guys, but we want to have you on uh, morning and evening, nighttime, nighttime and drive. We want to just just drive time with the nice guys. Are you okay with that? We'd run the world. <laughs> One yeah, million you know what? dollars. I this is what we're gonna do, Strick, and let's just make an agreement here. If we do that or anything like that comes up, we have to be just like the cast of friends. We're gonna negotiate together. Whatever we make, Anna and Mar make as well. I'm I think this is fair. Anna, you okay, are, are you are into this idea? One hundred percent. And the fact that you made a friends reference okay, even though it said. wasn't like about the show, I am in love. Yeah. In love with friends. I can't. Strick, you don't play that theme song in your band, do you? <laughs> so good. Oh Not anymore. All right, let's move to. over to Mar. I want to know. I want to know about what's going on in in Mar. Thank you, Anna. We appreciate you. Uh, everything that you do every day for us. I'm telling you, I don't know how you do what you do, but if you weren't doing it, I don't know where we would be right now. So thank you, thank you for You're doing so welcome. it. You guys are a joy. Don't. Ex- 
Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Mar, are you here with us still? Yes. Yeah. So, Mar, do you remember? Do you remember that first (laughs) that first love affair when you fell in love with the nice guys uh, in your car? I do. Okay. Where where were you at the time? So, so Doug, I want to point out that Doug is saying, "Hey, Mar, what's going on with you?" And by the way, can you start with how much you you love us? No. (laughs) I totally yeah. No, I do. I had a huge, huge love affair with you guys in my car, laughing by myself, and people were staring at me, but I didn't even care. By the way, that's not the first time I've had a love affair in my car. Just so you know. Just so you know. Just so you know. (laughs) We all know that, Doug. Get in your mood zone in the car. Mm -hmm. Uh I know what you did last night. Whoa, whoa. I didn't see that movie. Wow, chicka! Wow, wow! She yeah. was she was following through your camera. That's you got to close the lid when you do that kind of stuff. I did not Doug. realize. I thought that that green light was a nightlight. I swear, I did not realize it was anything other than that. Shh, that was me. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, uh, so Mar, so how, it started in the car, and when when did the transition come over to actually being somebody that you actually communicated with on the show? Well, then I started uh, stalking you on Twitter a little bit. You know, had to check you out because you kept saying, "Dude, hit me up on Twitter." message me on Twitter. Come on, come on, guys. Hello, anybody there? And I'm like, all right, let's see if this guy's legit. And I'm like, well, right. I'll tweet out to you because it's always my test. And then, of course, Strickland, I didn't expect to get any response, but <laughs> I tried to tag him anyway. Yep. And <laughs> I am very glad that we have um, yeah. appropriate expectations were consistent because yeah. that with your is response. still the None. case. <laughs> okay, good. Right, right. But Doug, I was like... Exactly. I'm <laughs> all like, about consistency. Like, this Strickland guy he doesn't talk to me, but Doug did, so... That that was the beginning of the romance. And then I was like, all right, if he's going to say reach out to me, he better respond because otherwise he's not a nice guy. And then you right. did respond. Right. And I was like, all right, he's legit. Okay. And then it just gradually happened. And then you kept messaging me more and more and more. And that's it. I mean, it was like literally built off of the podcast and Twitter. And then how did we you rope were... you into actually, uh, you know, like doing shit for us? Though I don't remember. I, I must have something that you said or did must have led me to believe that. Wow, this would be a really great person to get involved in the show. Uh, I saw your post where you're like reaching out to guests and saying, "Hey, you want to be on our podcast?" So I started quoting that, and then like reaching out to other people, saying, "Hey, you want to be on the show?" And I talked to them direct message, and then they said yes. And then I'm like, "Hey, Doug, you want this person?" And then you're like, oh, "Okay." Yeah, and that's so- right. Yeah, yeah, we tag team pretty well uh, on the uh, on the guest front for sure. And and you still continue to this day to be an mm-hmm. excellent guest retriever for us. You do what a great job. And it, like you know, you've gotten Pat Flynn for our show. You've gotten, uh, I would say, probably ten guests for our show, if not more, that have been just like totally great guests to have on the show. Well, and it goes back to the classic rewind episode that Strick posted today about social media and how it's about being social and talking to people and having conversations and not like um, relying on the robots and you know the spamming. It's more about being deliberate with your communication there. And I've. Yeah. I don't know. I think the people that are there and they're really present, they get it and they'll respond. So it works beautifully. And you do it too, because I watch you do it and, you know, just talking to you. And then I think it turned into email eventually after that. And then Facebook, of course, and then the rest is and then, history. And then next, you were coming out to the to the um, to the podcast <laughs> movement uh, conference right. and surprised the hell out of me by being there. That was awesome. Surprising, yeah. Us. So yeah, many I had great to meet you in coming. person. Had to. Yeah, we feel that we feel the same way. Our our life, just like with Anna, our life would not be anywhere near the same. Uh, had you guys not been a part of the uh, part of the show, so thank you for all that you contribute, and I know our community loves to hear from you too. So thank you for that too. Well, I love it, and I love you guys, and everyone here is amazing. And just so you guys know, Doug and Strickland and Anna are just as nice in person as they are behind the scenes. So this is not like scripted; it's not anything. They are really nice people. So just mm. saying. Like my my favorite quote from a couple of weeks ago when we did our our one millionth download, what who was it? was it that said it? I've forgotten now. Um, uh, oh, um, oh, yeah, from, from Houston. <laughs> no, it wasn't um, Houston. It was shit, Ryan. Why is his name going right out of my head? Right, Ryan. Right, I, I, Ryan from, Houston, from right. Boston. That was. I mean, from Houston. God, I'm a mess. Sorry. I need more coffee. Obviously, Ryan said, um, speaking as one of the few people who have actually sat down and had a beer and met these guys and talked to them in person. I can guarantee <laughs> you, they are the same assholes in person that you hear on the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah, pretty much. We really the truth. are. We really are. 
So, uh, Strick, do we have a we have a whole bunch of topics that we want to uh, get to here? And uh, we, since we have Mara and Anna's attention as well, why don't we uh, why don't we include them in all the in all the stuff that we got going on? I love that. We haven't done the speed read in a while, so okay. why don't I do a speed right, read of the topics it. and then I can spin the wheel again? Because we've kind of neglected the wheel. I had to dust it off. It hasn't and oil it up. It's been a yeah, while. It's yeah, kind of getting it. a right, little let's, feeling uh, neglected. Uh, do the speed right read. Now. We'll get to the uh, spin and then we'll go from there. Okay, here we go. Speed read of the topics. Thinking bigger, remembering who the DJ is. Marnon, <laughs> our fourth bare naked tooth of vagina talk. I like the direction of our new media stars. Think with John Dwoskin. Said X podcast. I'll show you a promo. A classic rewind. Apps. Yes or no? The Randy List. Steve, the Tom King. Instant dog. <laughs> Uh, I, I, that I was that it. last one right, came let's, out uh, let's spin the wheel dog. and let's come up with a topic wow holy shit we got spin right into it wheel. hey uh fun, funkin fans nice guy community if you're listening on it, overcast man. just take a moment hit the recommend button while we are waiting for this uh this spin to stop and then if you recommend us we'll stay in the number one category in business thank you <laughs> Oh, yeah. Remember okay, who so, the DJ is. Um, I don't know if we've done a recap of exactly what either one of us do as, as a regular job, but just so everybody knows, I am a, I am a DJ. That's mm-hmm. what I've been doing for the last 30 years. And on the weekends, uh, this week, actually, this past week was interesting. I, I had a Thursday corporate job. I had a Saturday wedding, and I had a Sunday bar mitzvah. So I ran the full gamut this past weekend of all the gigs that I have. Now, on my Saturday night job, I had a person that was on the dance floor, and um, they made a request, and it was a good request. I mean, it was something like, you know, Brick House or Play That Funky Music or whatever it was, but it was a winner, and it was one of those songs that I was going to play anyway, but I'm figuring, okay, here's an opportunity to, to keep my, my dance floor happy, so I made that the next song. Mm-hmm. Halfway through the next song, she comes up, and she goes, oh, you got to play, you got to play, and then named another winner song. It was maybe September by Earth, Wind, and Fire, or it might have been Brick House or, 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 or Play That Funky Music, whatever I hadn't played. I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, I'm going to make her happy again. Halfway through that <gasps> song, she comes oh, up, shit. and as she's coming up, I just give her the hand. <laughs> just <laughs> hold on a second. <laughs> The hand, and I was saying the it like hand. joke, like I was smiling as she was coming up, but she proceeded to come closer and closer, like she was about to say another song. I said, "I said you are you are doing such a great right. job requesting the songs. Enjoy the dance floor. I got this. I promise you. I I I I'm very comfortable with this. And the bride and groom have a a pretty good request list. So I'm just going to get to that. But okay, but thank you very much. And I said it not in an irritating way, but in a way that said, "Hey, I got this, and I know what I'm doing." She proceeded to tell me how I needed to DJ the party because she had picked two winner songs already. I'm like, you know, I could pick Uptown Funk, you know, and I could pick a, a, a probably 75 other songs that would be guaranteed to win that dance floor over. But she thought she was calling the songs now. So she proceeded to get right in my face every time a song needed to be played. And then she proceeded to tell me, hey, remember who, what the age of the dance floor is? We really want to. And she, completely well, no concept of, of what a, what anybody else wanted at the party other than her. Or anything like that? So I finally just said to her, say it again, say it again. Was she a bridesmaid or anything? No, like no. That? I mean, it's she's a guest. So I, I hold, except for the bride and groom at a wedding, who I hold in complete high regard whatever they want they got it uh, i will i will definitely take the advice of people that are on the dance floor and want to hear songs but i'm not necessarily going to play them like as the next song play this song it's like when somebody says that to me i just want to say remember who the fucking dj is here at this party of course i don't oh, say it that way but yeah. do it <laughs> You say, do I go to your job and tell you how to fill the fries at McDonald's? I don't do that, okay? So, so I please, ran into her in the parking lot at the end of the party with her husband. Because <laughs> I can oh get out of the gate pretty quick. At the end of a job, it literally takes me 20 minutes and I can get out. The equipment that I have have over the years has gotten smaller and more condensed and condensed. It's great equipment, but it's just really easy to set up and break down. So in the parking lot, she basically yeah. said, and she was really drunk, she said, Hey, I'm sorry for being so obnoxious tonight. <laughs> I'm saying I'm, yeah, I, I right. didn't know what like I didn't know what my response was. I guess it's no problem. You were really obnoxious. Have a good night. <laughs> you know, it's funny you mentioned yeah. it because just last night I played a wedding, right? And I play in a band. For those of you who don't know, and also for those of you who don't know, if anybody ever asks you, um, like Doug, uh Ask you what your dress should be at a party, preferred dress, two, two optional. We got to mention that every once in a while, two, two optional. Um, So anyway, just last night at my wedding, a guy comes up and he requests from one of my singers. I don't even remember the name of the song, but I'm like, 
it was like yeah, letter from Boston yeah, yeah, or those. something right, weird, right? right? And right, I'm like, right. what the hell is that, right? And it was like, <laughs> oh, it's some bagpipe thing. And I'm like, what the fuck? Right. And this is, not only am I a band, so I'm not going to know this bagpipe song. He's asking if I can play it on DJ. Oh, this yeah, is the last hour in, right. of the party, right? Yeah. So this is like the critical time where you're not going to throw a song and that's not going to work, right? And and I'm like, no, we, we, we're not going to do that, right? So- the guy throws a 20 up like, hey, no, if I bribe I- you, I'm like, <laughs> no, I still don't have it. Right. So the guy comes up to me in the middle of a song and he's on his phone and he's uh, like he messing over with the his phone. phone and, says, and you can play like, it right here, dude. <laughs> right. He's like, he's like here. Oh, my gosh. oh, no. It's funny. He says to me, what's your email address? And I said, why? And he says, I'm going to email that song to you. And I'm like, I'm trying to be polite. And I said to him, I don't have internet in here. He's like, (laughs) okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But I was waiting for him to say, like, here's my phone. And I wanted to say to him, dude, (laughs) back the fuck off. I'm not going to play this fucking song for you that nobody knows, nobody right, cares about right. just because you gave me a 20. It's, it's okay, almost, here, here's your money back. You remember back. Uh, Howl at like, the dude, Moon? You, of course it? you know Howl at the Moon. It's like yeah. they give you, somebody gives you a $5 bill right, to right. play the song that they want, but somebody gives you a 10 to stop playing that song. Right. So hey, the guy, the guy exactly. hands you a 20 and says, I want you to play this bagpipe song. And then you just pull a 50 out of your wallet and say, oh, I'm sorry. Somebody asked me, he gave me $50 not to play the bagpipe song. <laughs> <laughs> Coincidentally, not uh, to play that specific God. song. So I relate that to oh, like all God. the shit that goes on in my life. Sometimes you have to drop back into remember what your strength is. Do not get freaked out by those around you because they have an opinion. Because opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. So and most of them stink. So just them remember, stink. do not necessarily follow the advice that everybody gives you because they think they have better advice than you do. Just stay the course. Check you out, well, like turning you know, this into fucking about business just advice like, and shit. How many times do I do an event and I just, you know, I've done, in my career, I've probably done well over 2,500 gigs. It may have been, I may have done 3,000 jobs in my life. I know I've done over 2,000 bar mitzvahs, so whatever. So in that world, it's like, I know what the fuck I'm doing. Just everybody, and you can't say to a guest at a party, just back the fuck down. And you never would say that, but you, but you do have to kind of, at some point, under, they, you, you've got to impress upon them that you've got this, no need to worry about it. Get back on the dance floor where you belong and stay away from me. I hate when people come over to my, <laughs> uh, they have like this big glass of red wine and I have a white facade that's um, like a, like a, a spandex material that, that's backlit. Oh, God. Somebody comes up to my, my, and they lean over my table with a glass oh of red gosh. wine holding it basically over my no laptop kidding. in front of my facade and i'm like could you just back up <laughs> just a, just a little let me meet you over mm-hmm. when some when, a lot of times when people come up to my my table before they approach me like i see they have a drink in their hand i try to meet them on the other side of the table i'm like hey what's happening uh, anyway i just thought i had to share that story because that was one that really fried my fritters so mar night. asks Mar asks how, but how do you handle that? I guess being other people's opinions and still be nice when you're like telling them to. <laughs> hey, by the way, Mar, you you have a microphone. You know, you can unmute the mic and actually say that. You don't have to drop it in I'm the just chat. Waiting. <laughs> yeah, you see, you see, that's that's. I right, know it's hard to get a word in edgewise with, with the two of us Mar, because Mar is so soft spoken that she she never will interrupt us, and it's like I don't, and I, you know me, I will never shut up. So go ahead, Mar, I will shut up now. <laughs> No, I'm just saying, like, how do you handle that without, um, without you know, not being nice? Like, how do you handle that? Well, there's Seriously. a certain there's a certain point when they get probably five or six requests in, or five or six drinks, whichever comes first. <laughs> at some point, <laughs> at some point, you basically have to say that the bride and groom had have given us a pretty, or the the guest of honor has given us a pretty specific guest list. We need to stick to it. I know, I'm sure that you understand that. We'd be happy to play songs that make you dance and make you happy. Um, you know, give me your request. If I can play it, I certainly will. And those are kind of the, 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 that's the vibe that I give to the person. Very rare is it that I have to get like back at them, like push back uh, hard enough. But that lady last night, she really, it's like halfway through the song. She's not even now enjoying the song because she's too worried about thinking about what the next song is going to be. So I, I have to say, hey, enjoy the dance floor. This is this is great. I'm so glad you're having a great time. Let me do what I need to do and and get this request list played. And I, I sometimes I am uh, probably leaning t- more towards the 
I know what I'm doing attitude, although very rare that I have to get there. It's it's the exception rather than the rule that makes me go there. But I, I, I try to stay nice at all points. I mean, you know, that's the reality of our business. So that's a good answer. The, uh, yeah, you've dealt with the obnoxious guests, but have there ever been angry people coming at you with song requests? Um, like angry I, drunks? Yeah, well, yeah. The the uh, And Strick, you probably have to deal with this more than I do because people tend to, at a at a uh, wedding where there is um, a, a live band, and he doesn't have a, I'm assuming, Strick, that you have this certain amount of songs that you can play or that you know how to play, and there's not, you know, once you get out of that, like into the bagpipe world, it's a little challenging. <laughs> So, so how do you, how do you handle <laughs> yeah, somebody definitely. that's uh, that's that's like over the top, like drunk? You know, it is easy for for me to beg off and say, "Look, we don't know that one." Or I will, I'll go there. To, I'll be like, "Hey, the bride and groom have specifically requested that we not do that." Uh, the hokey pokey. Yeah. They just don't want to hear the hokey pokey, um, and you know, shit like that. But you know, it it's not that hard. It doesn't happen that often, and a lot of times, I if if they are really insistent. I may go back to the bride or the groom and say, hey, look, that guy right over there, like, is, is he somebody that's <laughs> important that. hey, that's to good. you? That's good. Right? Like, he's he's asking for the hokey pokey, and I'm happy to play it if you really want us to, because he's asking for it. And nine times out of ten, they're going to go, I don't even know who the fuck <laughs> that is, Why is he right? at like, my party? <laughs> And sometimes it'll be like, oh yeah, that's my, that's my father's, uh, the owner of my father's company. We right. have to keep him happy. I'm like, okay, you want to do something that'll clear the dance floor? I'll keep him happy, but yeah, I just want to check it's with you. It's hard when somebody comes up and they're like, and they're belligerent. Or, I mean, they're, they're drunk and they, you know, and that happens every once in a while. I, we, I usually go up, just like you said, Strick, I usually go up to the host or hostess or, or the, um, or the, the guest of honor, whoever it is. And just ask him, is this something that's important? I try to beg off as, as much as I can and just, I blame it on the, on the playlist. Even if there is no playlist, I blame it on the playlist because I, I don't want to, I don't want to insult the right. guest. Exactly. Under no circumstances do you want to turn yep. this experience that should be a party into a, you know, into a, uh, an anger fest at it, spe- at a celebration that doesn't make sense. Right. So speaking of, ah, oh, boo. Okay. I think we've uh, depleted that. I'm sorry. It was it? I don't know if that was Anna that was chiming I'm in sure. as I spun the wheel. I was really sure trying to cut Doug off. I wasn't sure. trying to cut you. <laughs> Whatever. We're all the same. <laughs> you all, you hosts, all look alike. <laughs> it's all just right. Hey, when is when is, is, is Strick going to be joining us? Oh my God, today? Strickland, you have got to. Interview? You have got yeah. In the last, I got to uh, record your drops for you. That I did with uh, with Jeffrey Shaw, which is going to be airing somewhere in December. He said, "Hey, will Strick be joining us today?" Yeah. And I, I came clean with him. I said, "You know, he's not going to be here." <laughs> <laughs> Mars furiously what? writing again. Uh, did you hear Marbar writing? <laughs> <laughs> wow, she's not even listening now. She doesn't so know angry. that we're listening to her writing. <laughs> By the way, that sound is Mar angrily you know writing what? something. Hey, Mar. Now. Some note. <laughs> And now she's crap crumpling it up and throwing it away. I hey Mar Strickland, make a note. Can we get Mar the um do you have a desktop? Do you have a desk, Mar, there? Is that what you use do or do you desk? Do you have a like I don't know your environment where you are where you do your uh your podcasting from. Is it a desk or I know some people like to sit on a sofa or on a chair or on a bed. where are you as you are podcasting mm-hmm. right now? Right now I'm at my desk, yes. Okay. Does it have an edge on it? Like if we got you a um a uh, a swing arm? Could you clamp it onto something? Mm, maybe. Mm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So yeah, because all of that, all of that side noise that we hear, and we got to get Anna one too. Uh, can we just yeah. get our? Can we get our folks professional equipment, Strickland? Mm. Is this possible? <laughs> well, Anna's using. Uh, well, please. if we're gonna have Anna him on the show more often, using then maybe we need a, to. Yeah. a twelve dollar microphone. <laughs> Sorry, it's a no. First, she's no, got she a decent you. mic. She's yeah, not using her her, her like. Quickly, hey, can we add yeah. to the wheel? Um, I met up with Adam Pierno. I did. Oh, you did? Oh How'd my that gosh, go? it was great. It was super cool. Really? So I set up. Oh, oh wait, do you want to? Do I just talk about it now, or should we wait? No. No, okay. Yeah, you talk about it. I want to find out what episode he's on so we can refer to that. Wow. Oh. <laughs> 462. Episode Damn, number Strickland. Dropping. You're like the – Strickland is the rain man <laughs> of, uh, of, I love of it. podcasting. I love it. do that. That was insane. Because he typed it into OneNote, I'm sure, or something like that. 
I know. I, I just typed it into OneNote, Adam Pierno. I mean, it's, and he's uh, right. Believe I, me, I double fact checked. I, I am him. the I am <laughs> I am the Rain Man of rock and roll trivia, but not the Rain Man of what episode number. I couldn't tell you who was on Friday. I, I double just, or fact checked. I didn't even know who was on yesterday. Episode so. four sixty two: The Challenge of Strategic Planning with Adam Pierno. Pierno. So. So uh, you had a, can we put a link in the show notes so that everybody knows who he is? Because Anna, was, uh, Anna yeah. has referred to him. Well, I'm the, I'm the show notes gal. <laughs> you are so funny. Yeah, sure. yeah, so I met yeah, with so him. So anyway, anyway we interrupted you. So you met with Adam Pierno. Uh, it was over in Scottsdale, Arizona. And uh, when as soon as I walked in, I heard him talking in the background and I knew what he sounded like because he was on the podcast. I was like, ah, he's near. Hey, yeah. Anna, can we step back just for a second? So how did you connect with, like, did you reach out to him? Like, hey, I want to talk to you about an internship yeah, or something? Yeah, so after he was on the show and I saw his location being only 15 minutes away from me, I was like, whoa, opportunity, light bulb. And so then I would touch base with you guys. I was like, hey, is it cool if I reach out to Adam and, you know, see what his ad agency is about and whether there's a, you know, creative internship opportunity or a project management one? Uh, and I said, absolutely not. And he, yeah, <laughs> Exactly. Absolutely not. Right. <laughs> Don't ever fucking call our guests, all right? <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's our, that's our style. Absolutely. She's giving all the right. free work to us, Adam. No more. <laughs> nothing nothing left over for you, Adam. All the free shit comes to us. You, She has to charge you. That's funny. And we make a commission. Absolutely. absolutely. That sounds like too close to a pimp. I'm, I'm really not going to have to agree with that one. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I understand. I understand um, so I met up with... How'd it go? How'd it go? It was great. You know, he was very relaxed. Um, we went into his office and he had his mic set up. That's what reminded me of it. He had like, a, so I guess where his couch was and then where his um, desk was, he could be a frequent podcaster. I'm not quite sure. But um, yeah, nice. yeah, he talked to me about what they have. They have like internships and apprenticeships there at his ad agency. Um, and I could come in from the project management side and kind of get like, you know, the creative groups overflow. So um, hopefully that'll happen in January for for me. I love this idea yeah. for you. This is very cool. See that nice guy community? Yeah, that's cool. You become involved and you give your services to us free for maybe one or two years and you will get a free internship <laughs> out of it. <laughs> for one or two years. Delayed gratification. And you'll get an internship that'll con- <laughs> keep the free going. Right. And then we'll and then we'll get you an internship that will continue to pay you nothing. <laughs> This sounds like a wonderfully horrible and w- deal. I, I will live off of the power of nice. That's how we do it here. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Very um, nice, very nice. All right, Strickland, spin the uh, spin the wheel. What, I, oh, I you spun, spun the wheel. We already the, have a new topic. Oh, what is the topic? The topic is classic rewind apps. Yes or no? I am not discussing this. You guys can. Okay, talk so about here's this. the background on this. Over the weekend, just yesterday, last Saturday and Sunday, a couple days ago, um, there was a post on Facebook that uh, co mayor Tim Hill put up there that said, "Hey, no nice guys this weekend. I'm so disappointed. Sad face emoji." So um, I thought, "Hey, I'll repost classic rewind episodes." So I reposted episodes two and three, which I thought were kind of entertaining and silly, Sucks. and. Uh, Doug, Doug immediately Ugh. sent me after after episode two. He was like, "Why the fuck did you put that up? <laughs> oh my god, that's so, fucking horrible!" And I said, "Hey, Doug, so well, you better get ready for it because there's going to be another one tomorrow." And you're like, "What?" I'm like, "See, nobody reads the show notes because it said right in the show notes I'm doing one today and another one tomorrow." Oh, I know. And- I saw that. I read the show notes. I saw that it was coming. I'm like, "Holy shit! Please don't post. Please don't do episode three because if you <laughs> maybe a couple weeks ago, I think you posted episode one. I'm like." Mm-hmm. Oh fuck! Not two, not to please anything but two, because now and we now, actually think we know what we're talking about, and it sounds like we think we know what we're talking about. We already know five hundred episodes in, we don't know what we're talking about still. Well, I was having a discussion with Mar about this before you came on, and she actually liked them, and she says she sees the the progression of from then to now and where we are. And one of the things that I found interesting that I kind of liked that I told Mar was, you know. Our focus is the same. Like in episode two, we're talking about, you know, getting ahead by being nice and the importance of networking. And we're saying the same things. And I think we used to be more business focused and less fuckery focused. And we've just switched that around now. <laughs> but I'm curious what – and Mar told me she liked it, but I would love to get her opinion. And and Anna also, did you listen back to episodes not, two and three when we reposted? I, I should. And I honestly <laughs> think that that would be yes. so cool. And I don't want to make more work for you guys, but if you guys had 
some type of recording where you it was like the editor's version so you were listening and then you were kind of doing commentary uh-huh. on like you know what i mean <laughs> <sighs> you know what the problem you know what the problem with that is sometimes when you come yeah, out yeah that requires you know, right yeah, exactly aside, aside exactly. from the fact that aside from the fact that it, it cover it, 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 it takes work to do that when you come out of the of it, it's almost like you need to have music in the background when you're when you're in the uh, in the old school way because the new stuff it's you have right. to have a dream sequence kind of going on behind you because when you come out of it you can't you don't, tell you can't t- <laughs> right right you can't you can't tell when you're yeah. in live mode and when you're in a flashback mode so strict flashback mode come up with some music we have freaking uh, from audio hero or whatever seven million yeah that's a lot of work Strick. I don't think you're gonna do any of that will you. Thank you for realizing that right up front. You are absolutely correct. Trick, I will not and then what that. I want you to do. <laughs> I don't think so. It could be like a, a once intern. a month thing. Intern. Intern. Get an intern to do it. No, we... no. Okay. Right. Oh, hey. <laughs> right. Hey Chris, there. Yeah. Christopher, who is now listening, a fucking fan of the show. Uh, Christopher, is a, a, yeah. Mar likes Woo-hoo. this idea. Marley. And Houston as well. Houston mm-hmm. is going to be working with our uh, project management and systems and getting our systems all up to snuff. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I didn't even know. Where did you so, like, where so, so Anna, you know the, like, the list that you're getting together right now even... of all of the turnkey reference stuff that's going to be on the turnkey reference page? The first project I'm going to put Houston on is actually yes. creating that page and like getting yes. finding all that stuff. And figuring out the best way to get it on a page together and do that. And he's also okay. looking at Freed Camp and figuring out the best way to get us organized. And and we're open to other CRMs as well. Not CRMs, I'm sorry, project management. Because right Doug loves his CRM. So we are totally off track now. So first of all, let me back up just a second. We need to hear from Funkin' Fans. Classic Rewind. Yes or no? Do you oh, yeah. like it? Do you not like it? Do you want us to post more or not? Um, we'll put it out there. Mar, I don't know if you want to chime in on what you thought of the classic rewind. I know I've already kind of summarized that you are you are a thumbs up on it, but I didn't know if you wanted to comment more further on it, what you thought of them. Yeah, I like it. I like it because it shows your growth and where you started and it like it just Mm -hmm. It feels nice because it shows that you guys have come so far in like owning your voice and understanding your audience and like not being afraid because you don't come Mm -hmm. out the gate like perfect when you're doing a podcast, right? You're kind of just feeling it out and you guys are reaching out. You're saying, hey, we need to hear feedback from you guys. Come on, (laughs) come on, come on. They're still not responding. (laughs) (laughs) No, you're getting responses. I'm just saying like it's it's really – it's actually endearing to hear it because it shows where you guys started and I like that. Mm. And it's very relevant even today because you get very specific and um I think you're just more comfortable in your 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 own voices mm. now. So it's it's okay. good. It's good. All right. I I believe that. I, I, like I don't it. I still don't like the idea of having the classic rewind episodes because I keep thinking, Oh God, are we gonna lose listeners because of it? You know, you really think we might lose somebody? No, because no. I, cause here's what I think. Oh gosh, here's what I think. No. I'm thinking we're we're five days a week right now. The idea of going to seven days a week is is interesting to me, but not interesting to the point where we're actually posting bonus older episodes. I think we if we go to seven days a week, we go to seven days a week with with legitimate new episodes. That's what. Okay, so so what you're trying to say is yeah, yeah. like se- uh, more episodes might get us more listeners, which by the way I completely disagree with. I think we're almost to overload already. <laughs> But if we post more episodes yeah. that are old episodes, we may lose right. people. And the reason I say that is because they suck. <laughs> that's that's the way I <laughs> I look at it and just say I can't believe I'm listening to myself. I'm like I'm like grimacing as I'm hearing what we're saying and how we're saying it. I'm like, oh shit, don't go there. Don't say that. Oh god, I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> So I mean, is there a way to there make it like that, a condensed? There goes oh, that sure. more work so, than oh yeah, we could we could episode, totally make it a like... condensed version, but that would be work. <laughs> that's not going to happen. Director's cut. Oh, I don't. We got a business to run sake. outside of oh, this podcast, gosh. you know. <laughs> Oh gosh! Yeah, Anna, yeah well, I'm so I posted. Sorry. I, I think for a weekend it's good. I posted good. two I of them. For a weekend it's good. I posted two of them over the weekend, and you haven't listened to either one, Anna. So you need to listen to both in your free time, right? Like all the <laughs> like free time got, that you have. Who's got free time? Fine, I will. And I'll post a video mm, yeah. about Please my. Still, still I need to follow your Instagram to story. Yeah, you Anna, you still have an Instagram, Instagram instructional video to send to me. Once you send oh that, gosh, then you can yes. do anything that you want. <laughs> Oh, God. I, you actually, we are 40 minutes into this Hold on. Episode. Wait, Maybe hold on. 
we okay. did not yet play the Jackie the Joke Man joke of the day. Oh, which God, you're right. Okay, but but we here's did. something that you promised last week, but you didn't do. Yeah. And I'm going to remind you because consistency and truth okay. in what we do is, is very important. Okay. You, you promised that you would give us some theme music for the Jackie the Joke Man. And I then, did not promise that. On. You and said then, you wanted some. And then, and then briefly, you just said, okay, I'll do that next time. And I'm thinking, <laughs> no, we should. We really should have, it should be, it'll take a second, just do the music, please, 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 I, or teach me how to do it and let me do it. <laughs> be hey, a, hey, Doug. That'll be a mess. Doug, you need to learn the difference, or maybe I need to communicate better. Yes. The difference between a, a oh yeah, cool, I'll do that next time, and and Doug, uh, shut the fuck up. I'll, I'll do it next time. Okay? <laughs> well, I know the difference between that and that. Uh, so wait, because you- what if if in fact I did say that last week, like I'll do it next time. Yeah, it was absolutely positively a shut the fuck up. I'm not going to do it. Stop <laughs> asking. Oh, that's like okay, I got you. Okay, that's fine. Will you do it next time? Will you do it this time? Can, did we just hear it before the joke? Yeah, look, I. What music do you want? Here we go. How's that? We'll put that in. Okay. You're nice guys. Joke of the day. There we go. How was that? The guy goes for a job interview. The interviewer says, what do you think is your biggest fault? The guy says, I think my biggest fault is my honesty. The interviewer says, I don't think honesty is a fault. The guy says, I don't give a fuck what you think. (laughs) (laughs) You want more? Follow me at Jackie Martling. I tweet jokes every day at 4.20 p.m. (laughs) <laughs> there you go. Maybe Strick, I was thinking something a little bit more jingle like. <laughs> you see, that's what I'm talking about. Now, now, what I've given you, right. it's not good enough. All right, you don't like that. You want something different? Okay. Oh my gosh. Hey, so Jackie, he does tweet at 4:20 every day. Yeah, Jackie's. Um, yeah, it matches. It's very true. Very true. All right. All right. Oh, all right. I get it. I get <laughs> it. Now on a gift. Strickland knows his stuff. There we go. Strickland. Oh you yeah. Know, that's going to get us banned from YouTube again, <laughs> and it might actually get us kicked off the air altogether. Have you looked at our YouTube channel? <laughs> I believe that. We have you know, we, just by the way, it. Anna just said it. Do you? Do you guys actually what? have a YouTube channel? Exactly. So we it, it, Zencaster. Zencaster. I mean, Libsyn automatically posts a YouTube every time we do an episode. It posts it to YouTube as well, right? So we have probably oh I don't God. know a hundred, two hundred episodes up on our YouTube channel. Do you know what the the highest number of views on any given episode is? I'm gonna go three. It's like it's like four. <laughs> it's like four. Okay, so I'm looking at it. Right really getting now. kicked out of off of YouTube. Not worried about it that much. Okay, all right, fine. But Anna, I'm curious how many videos we have up there. But yeah, if you look for nice guys, one, two, three, four. No, five. we have more than five. Yeah, we have more. Five. That may be the highlighted ones or the most recent or something. No, no, I think I think I'm on the uh, main page. Here. <laughs> Maybe that's why we don't have any strictly. <laughs> on, there are seventeen. There are seventeen subscribers. Oh, oh that's crazy. <laughs> um, and yeah, the jokey Jackie the joke man's up here, and then we have four ninety five. Mm, strict. Oh. I, I, w- the nice Do they expire? Do show. they expire after? No, uploads days. play all. Wait a minute. No, I don't uh, whatever. It's no, fine. it is right because I'm looking at it I'm now too, and it shows customized channel maybe that was it maybe i've got it set up so it only shows the most recent five mm, home videos play for returning subscribers and for new visitors what to watch oh next. no oh yeah no no oh, Anna new just subscriber said, hey Anna, we have a new subscriber <laughs> Anna. Anna just subscribed or Anita. Yeah. Is that what you like to oh wait so yeah i was you're right i was on the home page but then when i clicked on videos that's where all of them are right. well that's oh fine. yeah, there it is. You yeah, click on videos and it shows them all, right? Yeah, it shows them more. So I just Two wanted, views, I just, no oh, views, wow, yeah, three yeah. views, four views, oh. no views. I think this could be great if we get like, yeah, no, I think YouTube's phenomenal. We could definitely use this somehow, but that'd be more work. So, exactly. Um, I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna finish my thought. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it funny? It's- you would have to record on Zoom though. That's what it would be. Mm. It'd be the video. Isn't it funny though, Anna? Mm-hmm. As is as you as you were saying that you, the the reality of of the fact that it's not just the idea; it's the implementation of the idea that's so critical. One hundred percent. And once you start yeah. to realize how much shit is actually involved in the implementation of the idea, you're like, ah, you know, it's not really worth the benefit <laughs> that we can possibly get out of it. And that and that's, that's kind of like it's all about most, cost versus benefit. Most ideas that we have. <laughs> 
most ideas. Hey, I just want to let everybody know that you just listened to Jackie the Joke Man Martling's um, about, um, uh, joke of the day. He's got with this, intro and outro music, by the way. Yeah, yeah. He's got this book on uh, on Amazon right now with intro and outro uh, compliments of Afro Jack. <laughs> Is it Afro Jack or Afro Man? Ooh, good question. I, I don't think it's know. Afro Man. Let's it might be. It Here, let me pull it up on YouTube. Know. Anyhow, Jackie's got his book on uh, Amazon, and every every couple of days he sends me a text uh, because he, I I don't think he can actually figure out how to actually look up what his ranking is on on um, on Amazon. Like all you have to do is go to Amazon and look at the book. But just so everybody knows, I mean, he is the uh, the number sixteen ranked uh, Kindle book on uh, on Amazon right now for wow. comedians. Really cool. I mean, he's got he's cool. he's uh, he's climbing on the um, on the rankings. He's he's like number one hundred and eight for um, or whatever one hundred and something for uh, for hardcover. And uh, his book is doing really well. He's got thirty reviews doing really well. So enjoy it. You go over to uh, Amazon, Ooh. check out his book. Go, Jackie. Um, okay, Strick, do we do you you want to wrap up the episode because we have a bunch of other stuff to get to, or do you want to? Yeah, we're like forty six minutes in. Why don't we uh, save the rest of those topics for next week? Uh, not next week for Thursday for our Thursday show because we still have to record a Thursday show. Yeah, and we'll maybe we'll do the joke of the uh, the joke, <laughs> Jackie, the joke man's joke of the day a little earlier in the episode. That would be a good plan. I completely forgot about it. My apologies. Uh, yes, Sorry, but Jackie. we will do it earlier in the show next time, closer to the middle or possibly early in part of the show. Thank you, Brienne of Tarth. It is Afro Man, she says. <laughs> it is Afro oh, Man. Yeah. In fact, I found one that is the Afro Man because I got high positive remix. I'm guessing that they have a couple years after that they basically uh, changed the words around to make it more um, positive. You know, yeah. Positive, yeah. Oh, you yeah. gotta be kidding me. Well, yeah. maybe it, it's it's for the it's for the don't do drugs um campaign. I think <laughs> well, there no, I, I'm not sure system. if it's not <laughs> positive. I think there splitting. are like a bajillion other songs that they could have used, but sure, let's like focus on the one that talks about getting high, you know. Well, no, yeah. no, I don't think it's actually that because um, the publisher is Weed Maps TV. Uh, so no, I don't think this... it's quite that positive. <laughs> uh, Miss McGillicuddy, what are we going to be doing today? Well, we're going to be listening, children, to the Afro Man's positive version of Because I Got High. It is a very <laughs> anti drug message. Uh, um, Miss McGillicuddy, do you know it's April 20th? <laughs> like, oh my God. Uh, yes. Well, it's very themed. <laughs> it's very themed for what we're doing. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. All right. Uh, who wants to uh, get us out of here, Mar or Anna? Or you both want to do it? What do you want to do? Let's do it together. Oh, my gosh. We'll like, go on the count of on on three. We'll be like one, two, and then we'll like Steve O'Brien take us out of here like together. You want to do that? Okay, great, great, cool. Okay, ready? One, two, Steve O'Brien, take us out of here. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You didn't I say three. three. On three. three. I said wait, no. on three. On three. Yeah, just three. Three. No, 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 no. You can't just do that. No, okay. no you just no, do it. You go, girl. I, okay, Holy fine. shit, so, Anna. Wait, 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 I think we had this Back problem. it up. Back it up. Back it up. So you, you can do. I said on worst. three. I said on on. So I was like one, two, on three. That means you have, have to say three. That, how does that work? That doesn't make any sense because then it's so the after three. That, uh, Anna, Anna absolutely positively explained it properly. I just think that you all were both kind of thinking that that's a silly way to do it. So you didn't listen carefully. That's the, you know, lethal weapon, the, the freaking Mel Gibson and Danny Glover. That's what yeah. this is from. He's like, where Danny Glover is sitting on the toilet and there's a bomb and he's like, okay, we're going to do this together on three. One, two, wait a minute. Are we doing it on three? Are we doing Thank it after you. three? Thank it's kind you. of an important thing to think about. Oh my. God. Oh okay, God. so we're gonna do it after I'm waiting. three. Mar, we're gonna do it. Mar and I were waiting for oh three. Is that what it was? <laughs> I was totally waiting, and she starts talking. Okay, and I'm like, we're gonna, oh after, we're gonna do it after. We're gonna do it after three. I'm Are you ready? Okay, I'm gonna count, and then we're gonna do it after three. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Steve O'Brien. Oh my gosh, Steve O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was good. You got a great well, did we? Right I, on, you were Mar was on, delayed you were, on, yeah, you were doing on my end. Right. Mar, Mar was delayed. Oh, fine. You oh, were delayed. My God. Lord I have mercy. <laughs> Steve O'Brien, take us out of here. <laughs> For the nice guys on business, I'm Steve O'Brien. 
Just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. <laughs> Holy oh, shit, that was God. funny. That was great. That's uh, great. That was funny. <laughs> okay. All right. Th- all right, so I'm going to start recording, and I'm not going to touch anything that. else. <laughs> Of course, Mm -hmm. of course. Okay, so now you need to talk normally, and we're going to take a look at the meters and see where they are to see if anybody needs to turn up or down. They're done. I have the hiccups. Dang it. Dirty deeds done. Don't <laughs> Anna and and Mar, I need you guys to talk a little bit so okay. I can see where your meters are. Okay. I have the if hiccups. we can shut Doug up here, I'll just okay. mute Doug, and then we don't have to worry about it. That's I perfect. Oh. The, <laughs> the controller. Hello. One two. Hello. I'm at nine o'clock. Is that good? Uh, keep talking because okay, I got you. See so, how the little meters on the bottom are going, yeah. but they go very oh slowly. Gosh. Tell me what you think, Mar. You probably ought to turn yours up a little bit. Turn- the gain thing? That's yeah, fine. turn a gain up to gain up to like 12 o'clock or so and you should be fine. Oh, we got gains. Okay, how about that? How about yeah, that, that testing? Be yeah, Is that better? Work. Yeah, okay. that'll work. All right. Cool. Just just start recording. So what's recording. our plan? Are we recording intros? Oh, you recording are recording. All right, just, just start, the, start the show. I'm already <laughs> We've already started like an hour ago, so just start the show. <laughs> we have so much to talk about. Do we have to recap all that shit that we just did? God, I think so. Mm, so I, we keep could the say nice really guy community so. informed. <laughs> I don't remember anything. About? You guys remember? I don't remember any of that shit. He is. Randy's gay. Duh. Stop that! Guys. All right, wait, wait, wait. no, Check really? <laughs> I know. I have the hiccups. Check that started. one off the Just list. Just checking my bell. It's working, working <laughs> fine. Ah. Okay, do you know what our and and okay, so we're going to start our show. Welcome back. Welcome back. That'll do, nice guys. That'll do.